the logical projects. Today we're going to talk about baselines. Now a baseline is a starting point used for comparison. It's literally a copy of the project at one point or another, possibly its inception, the beginning, that is used to compare against its performance during progress. So like everything in P6, there are multiple ways of accessing different features. We're going to start with Gotham 5, and as you can see here, the baseline is the current project. Here I'll show you how to access a few icons to make dealing with baselines a lot easier. The first icon is the assign baseline icon and the other is maintain. I'll explain both of these as we use its features. Each project has a folder of baselines and that you find in the maintain baseline folder. In order to save a copy of itself as a baseline, you click add. It comes up with a dialog box, save a copy of the current baseline as a new baseline. And by hitting OK, you've literally taken a snapshot or a copy and attached it to its maintained baseline folder. You can then go into Assign as many times as you want and call on this copy from this folder and attach it as the baseline for the project. To attach a separate project as the baseline for the current project, Hit convert another and a dialog box will open showing you your projects view of a list of projects that you can select and add as the baseline. It may be tricky filtering and finding the specific project you would like to add as the baseline. So here's a quick tip. In the projects view, select the project you would like to add as its baseline. Hit maintain baseline add and convert another project to a baseline of the current project and your selected option is automatically found from the dialog box. Add that and you have added it to your maintain baseline folder. Now to select a project from your maintain baseline folder that will be attached to your current project as its baseline. You'll need to do that via the assign baseline function. You could either go via projects, assign baseline, or use the icon as shown. Here you have options for a project baseline, a primary, secondary, and tertiary. We're going to select the project baseline, outage 5.2, and hit OK. At the bottom though you find the baseline attached is still the current baseline. This is because your user baseline is still set to current. Change that from current project to Arkham Refill 5.2. The baseline view at the bottom of P6 is automatically updated. Apart from primary user baselines, there's also secondary and tertiary. P6 allows you to compare multiple variables across multiple baselines. Under Columns, prefixes with BL1 show comparisons between the primary baseline, BL2 represent the secondary, and BL3 the tertiary. That concludes our insight into baselines. For more how-to videos in P6, check out our YouTube page.